Hello, I am your new English teacher. My name is Leandri, but I also go by my nickname, which is Leah. I am, um, this is my second class on this pl platform, so bear with me. Maybe I'm going to, um, it's going to take a Um, we, today we are going to do, do homophones and homonyms. Now, even earlier, so it's not nothing new, but I just want to recap and just. Um, we're just going to do a recap of homophones and homonyms. Please, if you have any questions during the lesson, that's me, um, Leandri, but my nickname is Phone is the same word. It's a word that sounds the same, but means different things and is spelled differently, like there and there. So there, the first one, if you see the red one, that is people, like they're struggling to see something. Or there, that is being difficult. So, they, here is a few examples of homophones, like bear. The first one is the trees are already bare, like they already lost their leaves, or bear with a B E. A R is I'm afraid of bears. B, be quiet, or B with a B E E is a bee is buzzing, it's the small animal. And then eat or bean, like I've never been to Japan. That is how. sounds the same but it's different in spelling and in meaning so that's an easy way to remember the difference be between homophones and homonyms a homophone is if you make the connection between your phone that you hear is the same okay so here are a few examples like box like um a box that you put stuff in or box like the fight a box or saw and saw the one is i saw an animal or i'm going to saw this tree in half then you have a note, it's something you write on, or a note, something you play. So that is a homonym. It all the same. Just go back there. All the the same spelling, but have different meanings. So it's one word that can mean two different things or sound the same, but have two different.
ENT, I save adds up to dollars. Then three, the cinnamon scent. So, and then four, my library books are due or due next week. And number five, the cat's fur or fur is extremely soft and silky. Now, the first one is this year, my family vacation will take just go back there, sorry. Will be to take a cruise, like C-R-U-I-S-E. Lulu said that each cent I save adds to dollars, adds up to dollars. The cinnamon scent from the candle was great. My library books was due next week. The cat fur is extremely soft and silky. Now, um, this year, my family vacation will be to take a cruise. That cruise is going on a cruise on a ship. So the other cruise. Luda said that each cent I save adds up to dollars. That cent that is correct, that I, I removed the other one is money each each cent she saved as up to dollars the other cent is something you smell so that is the difference it sounds the same but it's different in meaning and in spelling so that is a homophone so it sounds the same but it's different in spelling and in meaning okay. now Make sentences using the following. Accept and accept. Fair and fair. Whole and whole. New and new. And be and be. Okay, here is a different exercise. Like you see, there is three different spellings and meanings to two. It's, so this exercise, you must tell me which one of the three twos will you put in the correct sentence. Hello, Hello ma'am. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I would like to answer number two. Do you want to answer number two? Okay. Number two is, do we have to put a feather in our cap? The two is the one with one, with one O. With one. 
Oh. Yes, not two. Okay. Anyone, do you want to uh, try another one? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Now, what I want you to do, okay, let me just answer here. Hi, Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I want to answer number one. Okay. I have exactly two pairs of shoes under my bed. Hello? Hello, sorry, I lost you. I have exactly two pairs of shoes under my bed. The two okay. with T-W-O. Yes, that's perfect. Okay, Thank anybody you. else wants to try one? Thank you, ma'am. Hello. I'd like to answer number three. Okay. There are two potatoes left on our plates. Okay, which one is that? The one the one that it is is the two with T W O. Yes, that's perfect. Okay. I'm going to go Thank back. You, to the Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to go back to the previous slide, Thank and you. I I'm going to go back to the previous slide. I just want to ask any one of you um, if you want to make two different sentences with the following words. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Hello. How are you, ma'am? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Good. Ma'am, I'm going to do it, number one. Okay. Except, I will accept my defeat. And okay. the other except, ma'am, will be everyone who's going to the party except me. Yes, that's perfect. Thank you. Hello, ma'am. Hello. I like to do number four. Okay, do number four for me. I got a new bike. Yes. And the other one is, I knew he was lying. Yes, that's perfect. Thank, Thank you. you ma'am. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hello, ma'am. Hello. I would like to answer number five. Okay. There was a bee buzzing. Yes. And then I would like to be a lawyer. Yes, that's perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Hello? Hi, ma'am. Okay, which one? Hello, ma'am. Hello. Ma'am, I'm doing number three. Okay. Ma'am, I'm doing three. Yes, it's fine. Ma'am? Yes, do you hear me? Ma'am, we have a hole through our kitchen. In maths, we are doing whole numbers. Yes. Ma'am, we have a hole through our kitchen. 
and we're doing whole numbers in maths. Yes, that's perfect. Thank you. Now, I think maybe I'm just going to go to the next slide again. Um, and then here's our last one. Oh, no, not second last exercise. Let me just go back. This one is different meanings of there, there, and there. This one I'm going to leave that you can maybe put it in the comments. The answers, like one there, there, and there. Um, but I will go come back to this slide. Okay. Um, do any of you want to answer this this exercise? Okay. Which one do you want to do? Ma'am, I want to do number two. Okay. The bread is made from? Bread is made from flour. F-L-O-U-R. Yes. Flour. The second flour. one. Yes, that's perfect. Thank you so much. And I didn't hear you, man. Ma'am, can I do number one? Yes, you can do number one. A toad can breathe through its skin. Okay, which one? Which which toad? The first one. The first one. Okay, so yes, toad. Yes. Um, do you know what the other toad means? Can you put yes. that in a sentence for me. Okay, the truck towed the car. Yes, thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. What did I do? Hello, ma'am. Hello. Okay, ma which I wanna, one? Ma'am, I want to do... Number four and five. Okay. He got on his bike and ro rode away. Okay, which road? The second one, ma'am. The second one. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Can you make the other one into a sentence? The other road. The road is very busy. Yes, perfect. And, you and number five. Okay. There were a lot of pet, pet, patience. It's patience. Hello? Hello? Oh, can I talk? Yes, you can. I'm going to do number 11. Okay. Tom won the egg and spoon race. Okay. Which one? <laughs> the first one. The first one, yes. He won. The egg and spoon race. Perfect. I Hello? Would like 
Hello? Yes, which one do you want to do? Number six. Number six, okay. The deer slept on a bed of leaves. The second deer. The second deer. That yes. deer. Okay, and the other one, can you make that into a sentence? Dear diary, today I had a very terrible day. Yes, that's perfect. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. It's just. Hello, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I would, I would like to answer number eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Number eight. I heard my mom coming down the stairs. Okay. The first one. Yeah. Number eight, it's the first one. Yes. Okay. Can you make a sentence with the second herd? There was a herd of elephants at the at the reserve park. Yes, that's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. And then number nine, she painted the room pale yellow. The first or the second pale? The second. Yes. Can you make a sentence with the first pale? I put some water in my pail. Yes, that's perfect. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And then number 10 is this type of cat has no tail. The first or the second tail? The second. Yes, that's perfect. Thank you. Ma'am, I would like to do number three. Okay. A thick mist covered the countryside. Yes. The first or the second mist? The first one. Yes. Can you put the second mist into a sentence for me? Okay. He missed the turn. Yes, that's perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Ma'am, I would like to do number 13. Okay. Which war is this? She, she wore a beautiful dress. Okay, the first one or the second one? The second one, ma'am. Yes, that's perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to continue to the next slide, uh, to the next exercise. I don't know if you realize I'm going to, <laughs> I'm trying to engage with you a lot. Um, this is my second course I, I'm doing on the platform. I, I told you that. So I just want to talk to you a bit and um, so we can get to know each other. Let's just see here. Okay, that is the first one. Okay. So I'm going to go back to this slide. Okay, this slide. Um, is there any one of you that wants to answer this slide, questions from this slide? Okay. Okay. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Okay, do you want to answer one of these? Ma'am, I would like... 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, I'll do. Ma'am, I'll do number 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 four. Okay. The hospital is taking too long to help us. Ma'am, oh. it's the second one. Yes, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank okay. you, ma'am. Thank you. I would like to, I would like to answer number five, six, and seven. Okay. Number five, I went to the garage sale. Okay. And the two is the first one. Yes. And then number six, we lost two of our best players due to injury. Okay. And the two is and the two is the last one. Yes, perfect. Thank you. And then number seven, we are available to perform at the show. Yes, which one? And the two is the first one again. You don't think it's the second one? No. No, 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 ma'am. Okay. And then. Hello? Hello. Okay. Which one do you want to do? I want to do number eight. It's okay. It is. It is the second one. It takes too the second long. one with double O. It yes, takes too that. long to collect the money. It's the yes. second. Yes, it takes too long. Two. Thank you. Thank you. And then, which one do you want to do? Ma'am? Yes? Ma'am, may I please do number three? Yes, you can do number three. There are two potatoes left on our plates. Which one is that? Number three. Okay, yes, that's perfect. Okay, I'm going to explain to you the differences between the three twos. And I think that will make it easier. Sometimes homophones are, you, you get very confused with the three or the different homophones because everything sounds the same. This one is one of them. And the other one I'm going to also explain to you is there, there, and there. So I'm going to explain to you this one. So two with just the one O is used to show motion. I'm ex like an example, I'm going to the shop. Um, that is the one with just the one O. The second one, the one with the two O's, means also or extremely. Like, I would like to come too, but I'm too tired. Both of them, or, or that is the one with the two O's. I would like to come too, or I'm too tired, is also the one with the two O's. Now, the other one means two, like it is the one, it is, I have two apples. That is the number, the one of the W. Okay. 
Hello? Hello, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, I would like to do number seven, eight, and nine. Okay. We were available to perform at the show. Okay. And the first one. Yes. Eight. It takes too long to collect all the money. Ma'am, the second one. Okay. Number nine. I have to tell my husband about the event. Number one. Number one, yes. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Number 10. Yes. Okay. Um, this, that one is one of the difficult ones, or the two, two, and two is one of the difficult homo homophones. And then the other one is there, there, and there. Now I'm going to explain to you the differences between those three meanings. There, the last one with the T H E R E means the opposites of here. So that one is there. I'm going there. The first one is a contraction of they are. So that basically means the first one, the T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E is basically a contraction of they are. And is, so um, they, they're not coming to lunch. And the, the middle one, the T-H-E-I-R, is, is the third person plural. Um, it means belongs to them. So this is their house. We are going to their shop. So anybody wants to try one of these? Hello, ma'am. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Ma'am, I'm doing number one and two. Okay. Okay. Number one. I heard they are going to the movies at 7 p.m. Ma'am, it's number two. And the other one is, let's meet them there. It's number three. Okay. And number um, two, sometimes uh, it's hard to... Mama. Yeah. Um, the first one... Uh, Ma'am, I'm doing... Okay. Let's just backtrack to the first one. I heard they there, but it's the one that I told you about. It's I heard they are going to the movies at 7 p.m. So it's the first one. And then the last one is that one is correct. Let's meet them there. That's the place. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and the next one. May I continue? Yes, you can make you can continue. Sometimes sometimes it's hard to figure out which word to use. Ma'am, for okay. sometimes it's number one. Yes. Sometimes it's hard to figure out which number two. 
which word to use. Yes, that's perfect. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to unmute. Um. Hello, ma'am. Hello. I would like to answer number five. Okay. Do you think, do you know how much the bus fare is going to be? Okay. And uh, the fare is number two. It's number two. Yes, that's perfect. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. I want to quickly just recap the homophones and homonyms. I'm just going to go back to my first slide. Um, homophones, like I told you in the beginning, it's something you hear that sounds the same, but is spelled different and has different meanings. Homonyms are the ones that sounds the same, sorry, I'm just, yeah, um, homonyms are the ones that looks the same, sounds the same, but has different meanings like saw and saw, B and B. Now, um, we are almost done with the lesson for today, but I want to know if there's any questions regarding this homonyms and homophones. Is there anybody that is lost that I can explain to you again? And then I would like to ask you if there's anything in English that you did in the year that you feel like you're a little bit lost that I can help you with, please tell me so I can uh, do a lesson on that. I'm just going to. Sorry, I'm, I'm just going to put my email address here. And then you can email me if you have any questions or if there's something that you want me to try and do again uh, that you maybe did previously. So I can, I can help you with that. And so that we can all be on the same page. I'm going to put my email address here so you have it. And then you can, you're more than welcome to just send me any requests that I can maybe recap or if there's something about this homophones and homonyms that you are not quite sure about, please send me an email. I'm not going to give you homework today. The, so I can just find my bearings and feel like I'm settled. But from tomorrow, you will have homework again and we will continue with the next, the next, So if you are just, if there's any questions regarding this, homophones and homonyms, please ask me. And if there's anything you would like me to do extra, please tell me um, so I can know. And then I'm going to give you, let's go back here. Um, do any one of you, we have a few minutes left. You, any of you want to try one of these ones also?
Thank you, ma'am. Okay. I'd like to do number six, seven, and eight. Okay. I know that I went there once before, but I don't remember which way we went. Okay. And then the there that we're going to choose is the last one. Yes. -E -R -E. Yes. And then the which is W H I C H. Yes. And then way is W A Y. Yes. That's perfect. Thank you. I'd like to, and then number seven, my friend plays the right. The, my my friend plays the white witch in the play. Na mi na Nina. Na Nia. Is it na Nia? Nia. Yes. The witch is W I T C H. Yes, it's that which. And then number eight, I knew the answer was right. The new that we're going to use is K N E W. Yes. And then the right is R I G H T. Yes, is that one. Thank you. So I'm. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm. Um, so the lesson is almost done. I just want to say thank you for today. Thank you for participating. I like it when you, you. you talk to me and answer questions. So um, and like I said, please use my email address. Please send me an email if there's something you are struggling with, or yes, if there's something else that I need to do. So um, thanks for today, guys.